Welcome to Isolated Events for all your isolated problems. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, with version 20, we got something new in ALS, known as an isolated event. Compared to, I guess, now we can uh, define all the other events as being non-isolated, uh, whatever that means. Um, but isolated events actually started with, with a problem, a well, let's let's define this as a as a shared problem, us and Microsoft, but uh, maybe mostly Microsoft because at the end it's their problem. And what happened was that actually let me let me go backwards a bit. Let's talk about how events works just for a second. I found this awesome uh, chart, and uh, I think this will make way make way more sense if we look at the chart together. So here is it. Um, so this is this is new, but let let's pretend that we do not have the concept of an isolated event. So what happens uh, on an event? Well, we somebody is calling the event uh, either because it's triggered from code or it's, it's because it's an event that is being triggered by the platform um, and uh, well then we figure out or the system figure out are there any subscribers to this event if there is and now we're just ignoring saying so no we're not there's not nothing isolated here so we will now run the event there's uh, run the subscriber if there is an error then say oh Okay, there's an error, and when we're not isolated, so we're out. Uh, and what does that mean? Well, that means that other event subscribers might not get called. Uh, if if you happen to be, you know, be the first one, then other event subscribers might, might not be called. If you're calling from a piece of code where this error is preventing execution, then you might stop whatever it's happening at the place where the event is called um, and we had one specific point in the system called on company open i think let's let's check what it is on company open so what would happen if an event subscriber to on company open created an error Um, what would happen? Well, well we can uh, we can try this out and see what happens here. Uh, well, we couldn't even could not even install anything because. Uh, this seems broken, right? So, so I think that that's a uh, um, perhaps a bit unorthodox. Then this is at least a uh, an interesting effect. So clearly, an error in this event could mean a lot of issues. Uh, and in case you could block logins, you could you you could you could do a lot of. Uh, funky stuff so microsoft really wanted this one and you can see that there is a message up top method on company open is marked for removal reason replaced by on company open completed to avoid errors in login uh, so they needed to fix this uh, so we might be the one who have created this problem by doing things on company open that we were not supposed to do but Microsoft has to fix it, uh, and and so this so the fix is of course that we need to use a different event. But what is the difference between this event? Well, on company open completed is an isolated event, and let's go back to the chart and see what actually what an isolated event is. So we'll, we'll run through this again. So somebody is calling the event. We figure out a, a, a subscriber. 
If this is an isolated event, then we will start a transaction. So here's the first thing where a isolated event is different because if there's already a transaction running, then we cannot start another one. So the only way we can successfully trigger an isolated event is if there is no open write transaction. So that's one major difference between a normal event and an isolated event. So we have to make sure that we are not in a, a transaction. Anyway, we invoke the subscriber. If there is an error, well then, if this is an isolated event, so this was where we, we, we kind of jump out and all the issues happened before. So in this case, if this, and this is uh, an isolated event, hey, we roll back, we grab the next event subscribers, subscriber. And if there are no more, then you know, we'll return execution to whoever called us. Uh, and we can see that, and this is actually, so, so we got the rollback, right? So, so we roll back and then we can begin again. So if now, let's say we have this event subscriber and there's no arrows. So we go over here and then say, okay, if this is an isolated event, then we're gonna commit and grow up and grab the next one. So each subscriber to a isolated event is in its own transaction. Um, so with that, no matter how much issue we're doing here, and it's probably still mad at us in this case. That's interesting. That's quite interesting. Interesting. Let, let me. I think that's because we got it somehow ins installed. Let's, let's see if we can figure out what goes on here. Uh, BC20 slash BC. See if we can log in or, or if we have totally ruined this sandbox. No, I think we're good. My license is expiring. <laughs> Published as let's get what let's unpublish this for a second here. Then we'll go back to this guy and just so we know that we're not sticking to something old, let's oh no. Now I broke Grammarly. Who cares about Grammarly? Um, let's try to deploy this one again. This one is still very unhappy with us. That is, I think that's another problem. That's probably something I'd made on, on my end. Uh, if, if, if somebody from Microsoft is watching, uh, let me know in the comments below what's actually happened here here uh, while opening company the phone error occurred uh, so so if random 10 is less than three then and now we should at least have a chance to get it deployed or maybe not do we need to call randomize no, now it got deployed. So now we have have a time bomb installed here that it might crash on us 20% of the times or not. Okay, anyway, so let's back get back to <laughs> back to what can we use an isolated event for? So how do you create one? Well, you create one by on something, let's actually just go down here and then do T boost event. So here, here's an, 
we can say include sender, sure, true, but now we can actually add, see if we are allowed to that, we can add a, another boolean saying that this is an isolated event. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna write the code up here. P pretend that we're in something fancy here. So at some, some point we're gonna do my ISO event here. Well, if we're in a transaction, we gotta commit first. Um, otherwise we will uh, we will get a fail. But you can also kind of think about the isolated events as a way to offer some uh, low risk events to your uh, to your subscribers. Um, by the way, now I have said subscriber so many times, that's the red button yeah, just down below the video. Hit it, please. That's very important. Uh, that's how Microsoft is looking and say, how many subscribers do you have? Um, so, of course, you can, if you like, let's say you have a long and complicated thing and you know that right after you, your thing is done, there's going to be a system-based commit anyway. So you can, you can kind of anticipate the system-based commit by, so in, in this case, if, if this was your long and complicated piece of code, then if you write commit at the end and then the system right after it returns from, from wherever this is, is going to do a commit anyway. Well, this commit is meaningless unless you use that to then offer the uh, the isolated event here. So, so no matter what subscribers will do, they cannot affect the result of what you have done. Um, so uh, low risk, um, low risk event. And uh, the, the other cool thing here, if we go back to the flow, is saying that even though one event fails, it will continue to run, which is pretty cool. Uh, so so it, it's kind of, you know, yeah, low risk uh, and, and a way to, um, perhaps make sure that your your whatever you're creating will always work. So the challenge is, of course, if we go back and look here, that at this point, I'm not sure I'm able to see any difference. I can see that there's a warning on this one, but there's no warning on this one or there's no marking that this one is special. So how do you how do you discover whether this is an isolated event or not? I'm not sure. Uh, since this is a calling from, from the outside, there is no, oh, hang on, let me do a, see if it all works. What do you say? So this is a trigger from, from the platform. So there's no code navigation to go to. Uh, this is a, um, well, I guess we can go in here and, and, and take a look at this at the code unit itself and see, hey, this is an isolated. But I think it would be nice that that it's uh, you know it gets a different icon or there's a comment or something telling us, hey, buddy, this one is different. Um, anyway, I think that's isolated events. Uh, Clearly, purpose built like so many other things. Uh, you know, there is a problem. The problem has to be solved. Uh, and and for Microsoft in this case, it was the on open company, which clearly broke whatever I was doing here. Um, and uh, let's see what we can use this for. I, I, I to be honest, I don't foresee me adding much of these, uh, but I guess there's a couple of places where it might make sense. Um, so, but I wanna hear if this one, is, this is for you. So uh, let me know in the comments below if, if, if you can use this and when you're done doing that and subscribing, 
the YouTube algorithm has selected this wow, this video for you. Uh, go, go check that out. See you there. Bye.